Okay, this is my response to the baseball thing and uh, favorite sports teams. I could go on a long rant on every team, and I realized that it would take forever to pull up all my clothes that I like of teams out there. I'll tell you this, though. I got two baseball teams. Uh, I got one American, one National League, but the American League team is my Oakland A's. I know I've been mentioned before, but I like the A's. They're, they're in Oakland. I'm about close enough you could hear fireworks from the stadium when there are fireworks. You could hear them from my house. That's about how close how close I am. You know, I've liked their uh, I've liked baseball a lot because the games were a lot cheaper. Baseball is probably one of my favorite sports because I can play it. I'm a very short guy, as you can probably tell. I like, you know, those days where they had the Moneyball era, they had very good seasons under uh, those Art Howe days. I really miss those because that's what we had the chance to win it all. We were disappointed. It's kind of disappointing how we played. I mean, the, my group, you know, I liked the trio of Zito, Mulder, and uh, and Tim Hudson. That was the big, big three we had. And even behind, Kevin Apier was good. And even uh, Gil Heredia was all right. Uh, Corey Lytle, that was a big steal in trades. We knew what we were doing and making deals, but now everyone says Moneyball's stupid. We can't win with Moneyball. All right, I mean, for based on what we got, you know, we're still... You know, you look at teams' payrolls, and there's a big difference. The A's got to do what they got to do. We can't really, we don't really get much revenue, and we can make contenders with a very low budget. That's that's about the next best thing we can do. I know a lot of you guys say Moneyball's stupid. Fine, whatever. But I support my A's. You know, I live in a very uh, Giants territory. Uh, for college, you know, there's, it's all San Francisco Giants. Everyone. Majority of the Bay Area likes the San Francisco Giants, so uh, that you know that's kind of a nightmare, but I got to deal with that. <laughs> uh, so the the A's are my number one baseball team. Have a second one. Not going to mention that as much. I'll have I'll have a, another video of miscellaneous things I like, so uh, that are not uh, sport or at least sports related, but not related to what Cal ITD is mentioning. Yeah, the Oakland A's. They had. I, this is the one thing that was sad about those Moneyball years. Miguel Tejada, Jason Giambi, none of those guys all came through in the playoffs. They were very good in the regular season, and they could never come through when it mattered. Playoff time. Uh, some of you guys may not have noticed that, but I had. You know, Those heartbreaking losses to the Yankees and Red Sox, the, the Twins, during from 2000 to 2003. That was our dynasty years over the AL West. 20-game winning streak included. That... You know, it's kind of sad how much we've had uh, dis disintegration. But I, it's understandable. There's been some moves that are good deals. Some have been bad deals. You know, when we traded Dan Heron, I wasn't too mad. We actually got some decent players in at the deal. And now we got, you know, today we got four rookie pitchers in our starting lineup. And a lot of you saying, or what the hell? But look at this. We actually got a decent winning streak going. A lot of these guys are from double-A baseball. And we, a lot of them that we've drafted or, or gotten from a trade. Uh, Brett Anderson came from the Dan Heron trade. And one of the other guys we have, uh, Trevor Cahill, we've, he's been in the farm system for a while. Vin Mazzara, we've been fighting. He's been in the farm system for a long time. But, hey, Moneyball, it does work. If I mean, Sometimes players just choke, but they can win. Tampa Bay Rays, they had a low payroll last year. They still got some things in them. You know, the Oakland Coliseum. It may be a sad place to watch game because there are not very many fans, but the one thing you could say about this stadium is that every fan watches the game, all right? The atmosphere may not be loud because of the seats being far away, but the Ace fans that are in attendance, they are loyal. We still got the flags out in the left and right field, and we make the horns, we got drums. We're a lot like football fans, as uh, obviously we're in the same building where the Oakland Raiders play. So the Ra A's are my team. They come first. I know my second team, I told you, is the Los Angeles Dodgers, who I've been mentioning on the side. But well, the A's will play the Dodgers very soon this year, and uh, the A's come first, okay? I wanted to make that all clear. The A's will come first because they're the home team. I've been in Oakland pretty much all my life, uh, pretty much for the most part, you know. It's how it is. The The park isn't far from here. And I've had to deal with Giants fans everywhere because the Giants came first. They're 10 years older than the A's are.
in this region. So that's kind of a summary why I like the A's. They're the home team, and I like them. And seeing as the sport I can play, I used to be only a baseball fan. So that's why I like the A's.